Hey everyone, I'm Brandon with Live Production Mastery, and today I'm going to show you the new free update we have to our macro pack. Okay, we have new buttons, new pages, and more compatibility. I'm going to show you where to download it for free and how to get it on your machine working with your switcher. So, let's get into some of the features. A look that everyone knows and likes, right? So let's get into just pressing some buttons here, making sure everyone knows what this thing can do. So this is the macro pack here. It is uh, run by Companion, which is some software you run on your computer. And this is completely free. You can put it on uh, and you can download it right now. Some of the new buttons we have, everyone knows this page, all right? These are all the transitions, but some of the new buttons that we have is down here. So we have the super source adjust button, okay? As well as under super source looks, we have uh, the ability to turn certain keyers on and off. All right, so here is the Stream Deck itself. We have keyer buttons that turn things on and off, specifically the four keyers. All right, and we will see where that comes in handy later. So I'm gonna leave this keyer on just to demo some of these buttons here. Okay, so uh, let's pull up a look. Let's pull up a three box prez. Great. So we have a three box prez here. One update that we made was the ability to go to a different page, and when you go back, you're still on the same super source transition. This way, when I click a new look, everything moves in sync. Uh, there is no jumps, no cuts, nothing like that. So this just works better now. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functionality that we can do with this. If I go to super source adjust and I wanna change box one. Box one currently is the box in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Let's say I wanna adjust box one. I wanna zoom in a little bit. So we have a zoom in crop. And we click this, we can see that my box is growing. Okay, we can zoom out as well. So let me go back here. So all this is really doing is uh, increasing the size while cropping in the image as well. Okay, so that's how all this is working. This is no magic. This is just programming and coding and features of companion being used to their full advantage. So not only can we go ahead and pull up a different look here. Great. So not only can we go ahead and adjust box one, but we can also adjust box, let's say three. So box three is this one on the side here. So I can go ahead and I can zoom that guy in. All right, I can also increase the size of it. I can move it around left or right. Uh, let's see what else can I do. I can move the crop over. All right, so this is a big deal. Being able to move the crop over. All right, you can only move it as far as the image lets you, but let's go ahead and see how far we can take this. We can move the crop down, right? Uh, we can move it left or right. I have very fine adjustments, and then I have jumps as well. So that's how all of this is working. And then, of course, if you go back up here to Super Source and you click on a different look, let's say uh, one full, everything will jump back to normal. So when you go back, it's not like you've messed it up or done anything that you can't undo. So that's how these guys work. So that is the super source adjust page. It is super, super powerful, um, especially when, let's say we have a two box presentation here. Let's say I wasn't fully in front of my screen. I was off to the side. We've all seen this before where someone's just too far over on one of their screens. Really easy, I can go over to super source adjust and I can move the crop left or right. And now I've just centered myself in the screen. So it is that easy. This is why this is so powerful. And of course we can also move the box uh, you know, up or down if we had to, to get above what we have here. So again, super powerful. We can do this for any of our boxes. I can go through the rest of the macro pack quickly for you if you'd like. So we also have sources. So let me pull up uh, four box here. And if I wanted to change the source, let's say I want to change source in the big box. We all know that the big box is always box number four. This is reserved for presentations. Okay, you can always put a person in there if you want, but we always use box four for presentations. So I can go over here to box four and I can click on, let's say, my laptop feed. Right, so now you're able to see my laptop feed. I'll go here, take the key off, and we can see that I'm on my laptop. So I'm going to go back over to transitions. I'm going to hit two box prez and let's go ahead and see how you guys can get this and download it to your stream deck yourself. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over, you're going to pull up a web browser here and you're going to go to atemmacropack.com. Yes, we did buy the domain just for this video. You're going to go ahead and click download macro pack, put in your credentials, go ahead and click download. And this is going to download the macro pack here for you. So you're going to want to open that up and it's going to open up 
a folder. So in this folder, there are exactly three files. There is the file for the ATEM itself. Those are the actual macros, the actual transitions. Then there's two files for companion. You can choose based on which one that you have. If you have a 15 button version, you can use the older 15 button version that we have for free for anyone to download. Or if you have the 32 button version, which is the one I suggest, then you can add that to companion. And that is going to give you exactly what you see here today. So let's go ahead and open those up. First one we're going to do is we're going to put the transitions on the ATEM itself. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to the ATEM software. I'm going to go up here to file and I'm going to hit restore. Navigate me hopefully to my downloads page where I can open the folder up. And the only one that's going to allow me to select is the macro pack here. Uh, this is the same macro pack. It has not changed at all in terms of the transitions and the looks from the previous one. So I'm going to hit restore. Okay. This is a question we get all the time. It's not going to work for my switcher. It says it's coming from a different switcher. What do I do? It's fine. It's just a warning sign. It says we built this on an 8K constellation, which is a higher end switcher. And so some files may not restore correctly, none of which are our files. Okay. So that's, that's just a warning sign. And then it says you're trying to do this from an older version. It might not work, but guess what? It works. So don't worry about the warning signs that pop up. Okay. They're just warnings saying this was built on a different machine. But if you want to use them, you can still use them. If you don't want to use them, then worry about the warnings and don't use it. I want to use this, so we're going to click OK. Notice that everything is grayed out except the macros down here. That's important. That's all we want to restore. I'm going to click Restore. And you can see down here, it's loading 50%, 70 80 90 100%. If you want to confirm that the macro pack actually made it onto your machine, go ahead up here to Macros. Then you can click over and you can see that all the macros actually have been downloaded. So next up, let's go over to companion. Go over here. I'm going to hit launch GUI. All right. Now my companion is already set up, but let's go ahead and import. So we're going to go over to buttons, import. We're going to hit import right there. Navigate over to that folder again, and we're going to pick either the 15 button version or the full size version. I'm going to pick the full size version for this video. I'm going to go ahead here to open. All right, you can see all 99 pages here. Not all of them are being used. You can see all the pages are in fact here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to import everything. All right, so we want to hit replace current configuration. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to hit import. There it is. Now the whole new ATEM. What most people need to do is they need to go over here and they need to change their IP address. Right. So right now, this is not the ATEM that I am recording on. This is actually the ATEM somewhere else in the building. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select the ATEM that I want to use, which is this one. So that's all I've done. I'm going to click Save. Now I've changed the IP address. If you see OK in the status, that's good. That's exactly what you want. So let's go ahead and see this thing in action. I'm going to click a button over here and it works. So we have lots of different buttons to use and that's it. So that's how you're going to get this companion file working on your stream deck. And with that, I want to go through a couple troubleshooting steps that a lot of you are going to want to know to see if this is working properly or if something else is causing a problem in your workflow. First one is the first time you use a super source. A lot of you guys were new to this when you first downloaded. So let's get through it. The super source over here is right here. Okay. Super source. It's this button. And when you go over here to the side, this is how you control the super source. If you didn't have companion and you weren't using our macro pack, what a lot of people thought was happening was they would pull up the super source and they would have black in one of the screens and they didn't know it. A lot of reasons they didn't know it is because their background was also black. So they'd be clicking buttons and they didn't see anything happening, right? They'd bring up a new thing and they'd be like, ah, oh, it's broken. It's not working. It is working. All right. You want to make sure that your background is something other than black. It could be a color. could be anything you want. I'm going to pick uh, media player two here. Okay. And then you want to make sure you have sources in your boxes. There's two ways to do this. One of which is over here. Uh, I'm going to put in box four. I'm going to put stream deck. All right. Another way to do this is to go over to super source sources on your stream deck and you can pick any source here. All right. If I go ahead and blow this up for you you can see that under super source sources, we have seven sources for each box. 
So if I want to change what's in, let's say, box number three, I would go to box three, and I could pick anything I want here. Box number two, same thing. I'm going to pick playback to go into box number two. And if I take this off screen, you're going to see that I have a playback device inside of box number two. And I can always go back to transitions and go back to what we were doing. I can go over super source sources. And instead of the side shot over here in my box number four, I can pick, let's say, my laptop. Okay, so this was a big one. Uh, a lot of people didn't know that the background, they had black on black, and they didn't know what they were looking at, or they didn't have super source and program to begin with, so they couldn't see it. Once you get through those troubleshooting steps, the other one is problems with companion itself. So let's dive into that. So with companion itself, if I pull up companion here, a lot of people need to go to surfaces and hit rescan. Okay, that is the biggest one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my Stream Deck here. Okay, so it's now unplugged. You can see that it's missing. When I plug it back in, it doesn't necessarily automatically find itself. So what I see here is I see just a logo on screen. It doesn't pop up here. If I'm going to go to rescan USB devices, and then it will pop up. Okay, if you don't want to open up a web browser and do all that, you can always have your ATEM software open like this. And just go to companion at the top and hit scan USB devices. Any of those things will work for you, but if you can do those troubleshooting steps, those are the most common problems that people run into, especially on a daily basis. They might restart their computer, shut everything down, etc. So that is great troubleshooting steps for both companion and your super source. All right, and that is it for this video here. So if you guys want to get your hands on this macro pack and all of its features, go ahead to this website atemmacropack.com. Go ahead, click the download button. You can install it on your machine with your switcher if your switcher is eligible. Then you can go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel here because you're not going to want to miss any of the other giveaways we have as well as tips and tricks, video, live production, lighting, audio, you name it, we're going to have it here on the channel. So go ahead and click subscribe below and I'll see you on the next one.